Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh The Honorable Mr. Mahfud Junaidi as the lecturer of Philosophy of Islamic Education and all of my beloved friends who are watching this video First of all, let us offer praise and gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given us salvation and blessing in life and do not forget salawat and salam to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who really loved by Allah and saved the human life from destruction in the safety that's the right path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then allow me to introduce myself my name is Zulia Dwi Oktaviani and I'm an English education department student of Wali Songo State Islamic University and I'm very grateful because on this occasion I have been given the opportunity to give a few words Ladies and gentlemen, today I stand here before you to address a pervasive issue that affects every member of society Corruption All of you must be familiar with the word corruption, right? But what exactly corruption is? The word corruption comes from the word corrupt which means bad, damage, rotten, like to use gods or money entrusted to him or her. Corruption can also be referred to as any dishonest or unethical behavior or activities that benefit a strong group of people or organizations. Therefore, corruption frequently causes loss to the less powerful group within a society or institution. Corruption is a cancer that eats away at the fabric of our communities, undermining trust, justice, and progress. It is a practice that allows some to gain at the expense of money, perpetuating inequality and hindering the development of nations. There are several kinds of actions that indicate corruption, including bribery, embezzlement, fraud, extortion, abuse of power, internal trading, favoritism, commission, nepotism, and illegal contribution. In our own country, Indonesia, we can say that corruption cases are very high. Almost every month there is news about corruption. In fact, according to the results of the 2004 PERC, the Political and Economic Risk Consultancy, study on corruption country, Indonesia ranked first in Asia. Ironic, isn't it? Um, as we know, the impact caused by corruption is enormous. Corruption significantly negatively impacts democracy and the rule of law politically. When power is utilized for personal gain, the political system loses credibility. Justice cannot prevail when there is corruption. Another irony, Indonesia is known as a Muslim country, which is supposed to be a religious country, and Islam also strongly prohibits corruption. Then, why are there still so many cases of corruption in Indonesia? Everything happens for a reason. There will be a strong motive behind every decision taken. The same is applied to corruption as well. So what motivates someone to commit an act of corruption? The first reason is the lack of strict law enforcement in Indonesia. Many of us must have known that even after an arrest, a corrupter can continue to practice corruption. They continue to live a wealthy life with plentiful prosperity like without sin. As a result, the government must be capable of taking decisive action against the perpetrators of this corruption. They must be brave enough to give punishment as big as they harm the country. One of the ways that can be done is by withdrawing all assets from corruption as well as compensation for their actions. Another way is to provide a special prison for corruptors with very strict guards. Furthermore, acts of corruption are usually committed by people who have power or position. 
and these people are usually smart, aren't they? So why can they commit such a lowly act as corruption? Yes, the answer is because of a lack of morals and faith. People who have no morals can justify any means to achieve their goals or desires, and people who have weak faith must have no fear of all their actions, whereas all of our actions in this world must be accounted for in the hereafter. Another reason is that Indonesians have no fear. Quoting from Professor Salim's opinion from one of the television shows, he said, The reason Indonesia is not progressing is because Indonesians have no fear. Even to God, they are not afraid. This is proven by the many cases of corruption in Indonesia, where, as we know, corruption is an act prohibited by God and religion. But in fact, until now, there are still many cases of corruption that have sprung up in Indonesia. Ladies and gentlemen, the impact caused by corruption is no joke. Corruption can create losses in many elements of the country, including economic, political, social, defense, and security. However, it is crucial to recognize that we are not powerless in the face of corruption. Each one of us have the capacity to stand against this pervasive evil and work towards a corruption-free society. We must refuse to be complicit in corrupt practices and instead strive to uphold honesty, transparency, and ethical conduct in all aspects of our lives. In the effort to eradicate corruption, the involvement of all elements of society is needed, including educational institutions. We must work together to fight against corruption. By working together, we can create a more just and prosperous world for future generations. Why do I emphasize educational institutions? Because directly or indirectly, the problem of corruption will be related to the problem of education. The contribution of education in this case is the development of human mentality. In education, it is important to include integrity values as an effort to build character and strengthen the noble values of society and the younger generation. Through Islamic education, a person will be formed into a person who is honest, trustworthy, and always close to Allah, so that characters will not be born in the future. In addition to Islamic religious education, we also need to implement anti-corruption education from an early age to introduce and provide understanding to the community and the younger generation about corruption. We both realize that life in this world is hard. Finding job is hard, finding food is hard, and finding money is also hard. However, the world is only a temporary life full of tasks, while the hereafter is the place of eternal life. Therefore, let us avoid corruption starting from the smallest things such as time corruption, pocket money corruption, money change corruption. And hopefully, by staying away from small things that are despicable, our hearts will be strengthened to remain istikoma in honesty and trustworthiness. Maybe that's all from me. Again, corruption is a bad act and is forbidden by God. So let's work together to eradicate corruption. Thank you for watching and I apologize if there are words that are not pleasing to you. Please be upon you, stay healthy and be happy. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.